Europe's debt crisis spreading to Italy. Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi addressing lawmakers in Parliament earlier and will speak to their Senate shortly later on today. CNBC's Carolyn Schober is in Rome with the latest. Carolyn. Michelle, so far the analysts we've been speaking to are underwhelmed across the board. They say it's so hard to the re react to Berlusconi's first speech because he didn't say anything. One analyst from Sogjen said, well, basically those were just platitudes. Another economist we talked to said, well, certainly this will be nowhere near enough to calm the markets because what the markets need is facts, not words. I want to remind you that Berlusconi didn't specify any new growth programs, any new growth measures, nor did he say that he was moving up any of the fiscal austerity measures as part of this three three-year fiscal plan. Now, let me recap what he did say in his last speech. He said that Italy is hit by a confidence problem, but he says the country's political system and the economic fundamentals are solid. He goes on to say that the banks are liquid and solvent and that the sell-off we saw in the last couple of weeks has been completely excessive and markets are incorrectly assessing Italy's sovereign debt. But he says that the fiscal consolidation is happening faster than required. Now, he goes on to say that uh, he was working with unions and employers uh, to, for a reform of the labor market and uh, he, they're working on growth initiatives and those talks will begin tomorrow. Back over to you. Alrighty, thank you very much, Carolyn. Let's bring in Lauren Bilk. He's head of European rate strategy at Nomura. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Power Lunch. Hi. Hey, it looks like to me when you look at the sell-off, the sharp, horrendous sell-off that's happened in Italian banks and European banks, are they on the verge of a banking crisis at this point? Uh, I'm not sure. No, I don't think so, because there's, uh, there's still ample liquidity being provided by the ECB. So uh, at, this, at this juncture, uh, the central bank provides uh, the liquidity facility these banks need. Uh, there, will be, uh, there will be a banking crisis if really uh, the troubles of uh, the Italian uh, government and the bond market in Italy uh, become very serious and we start to move into uh, Portuguese, Irish or Greek style of scenario, but we're not exactly there uh, yet. Now, I think the situation is, is really worrying. Uh, we are uh, slowly but surely uh, sliding into the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. uh, what the market needs now... Um, it's true. It's a little bit more than just words. And actually, to be frank, I I'm not sure what Berlusconi could have said really. Uh, he to, could have said a lot uh, of things. To, he could have said, I stand behind Tremonti. We're going to have new growth initiatives. We're going to move up. We're going to have that balanced budget by next year. He could have done a lot of things. He didn't do anything, right? And then with the ECB, I don't, well, they're not doing anything either, from what I can tell, on, on a large enough scale at this point. I think that the problem is well beyond uh, the reach of the Italian government. They have announced a number of austerity measures uh, in, in, in the past. And to be honest, I think for now that's probably enough. Announcing gross measures, I think you, you cannot announce gross supporting measure when you do austerity at the same time. Now, the real problem is, uh, you mentioned the ECB, but I, th I think the real problem is that we need the plan that has been announced a couple of weeks ago, two, three weeks ago by uh, the Eurozone countries mm -hmm. to just be activated. There's huge implementation yeah, risk associated with this, with this plan. Yeah, look, right? I, look we, I disagree. Many, I think you things, can, do, you can do reforms to an economy that would liberalize it and actually lead to growth while at the same time you, you make some budget cuts. Guys, do you have a... Yeah, actually, Lauren, one of the issues that, that we've been hearing from analysts here is the fact that at this point we have a Bear Stearns or a Lehman-like scenario. The traders out there and the markets right now are gunning for Italy and Spain, and they are pushing up their cost to borrow money, and they're at getting to the point where it's unsustainable levels. Do you view it that way or not? Because they can push it into a banking crisis, can they not, if they keep pushing rates the way they are? Yes, I think that's true. I think that's fair. Um, you, uh, I mean, we, we're entering the zone where yields, 10-year yields are, again, above 6%. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's just a self-realizing prophecy. If you've got yields uh, moving too high, then, yes, you get into uh, some uh, solvency problem, and uh, the terms of the equation becomes uh, very difficult to solve for, uh, for the Italian government, the Spanish government, and, to be frank, probably many, many governments, including AAA mm -hmm. governments, if you get to a situation where uh, they have 7% interest rate. So, so that's exactly the problem, right? Very uh, quickly, it's not, it's not what so is much the, about what is the, If you were advising Berlusconi, uh, Laurent, what would be the one thing you think he needs to do first and fastest? 
I, th- I think it needs to be, uh, well, making clear that is going towards fiscal consolidation, that there's mo- no move away from that, that there's big support to, uh, to, towards the policy that uh, uh, his uh, finance minister has been, has been implementing and that there's no change in view there. I think that's, that's, that's a fair point. Uh, now, what you can reach in terms of uh, competitiveness policies, structural policies, in just a few weeks, I think it's, I mean, let's be realistic, right? There's not much you can do on that side. Mm-hmm. But just hold the line uh, from a fiscal point of view and try to convince your colleague in Europe to hurry up, to really hurry up to implement the measures we need uh, for the plan that has been announced two weeks ago uh, to, be, to be efficient, because that is still okay. the heart right. of the problem today. Lauren, thank you so much.